Well, I'm really excited about the event that we're doing with the Department of Justice and Student Legal Services. It's the Sexual Assault Victim Rights Across Camp civil and criminal justice systems. We have the Attorney General is going to be coming out and opening up the event for us and we have a panel of speakers that are going to be addressing uh, sexual assault victims rights um, and what that looks like and how we can be make, uh, make our practices more victim uh, centered so that we're addressing their needs. So one example about how you might make um, yourself or your colleagues more survivor-centered um, and provide services that are more survivor-friendly would be um, how you interact with a survivor, especially when they're first telling you their story. As a culture, sexual assault has become normalized. Um, and, and you can see that in terms of rape culture. And so um, a lot of women don't think about um, if they're going to be sexually assaulted, it's more of a matter of when I'm sexually assaulted. So a lot of our workshops address themes around consent and healthy relationships. And so a big piece of that um, is about what, is, what does consent actually look like? How often do you need to get it repeatedly throughout an interaction, right? Um, can someone give consent if they're very intoxicated or inebriated? No. Um, um, men in the Movement here at the Women's Resource Center is one of the action teams and we have a small membership right now and we are hoping to uh, do education this month and also increase our membership and we will be doing a workshop called men as feminist allies and it's going to be facilitated by four individuals i want to have folks look at i mean there's a couple things primary prevention stuff so again looking at the causes of rape and sexual assault. Um, so for me, for example, um, we have these ideas around love and relationships and sex, and um, I, I term them, for me, I kind of term them patriarchal notions around love and sex and relationships. So.